Well, thanks for joining me again today. Kyle Gagne, Western Regional Manager for AMX Canada. Today we're going to be doing something a little different. We're actually going to be going over the AMX and SVSI history over the years and discuss where we see SVSI going in 2021. Huge shout out to Bob Sharp and Jeff Phillips who helped me fill in some blanks in this timeline because we've got over 13 years of network AV experience that we've got to go over here in this quick short video. Many of you in the industry are aware SVSI was actually founded in 2003. Their primary focus, high speed cameras for the military. They were responsible for processing thousands of frames of video per second for slow motion analysis and obviously a very high security application. From 2003, five years later, they actually debuted their very first IP-based video over IP solution known as Volante. Uh, they shipped this actually in 2008 utilizing the JPEG 2000 compression codec and to be utilized over a one gig network. This was unprecedented in 2008 and was a massive leap forward to what we see today in the AV over IP space. Volante had a good run, and then SVSI actually released their N series of AV over IP uh, solutions. The N1000 series, 2000 series, and 3000 series. So SVSI's mandate was ensuring customized solution based on the application. N1000 series, as many of you know, high bandwidth, low latency in-room solutions, the N2000 series, we're looking at uh, a bit of a blend, mixed uh, medium bandwidth and medium latency over a LAN, and then the N3000 series to actually broadcast over a WAN. So we're looking at very, very low bandwidth utilization. However, we're going to see high latency. So this is more for streaming applications using the H.264 protocol. Moving on from 2012, fast forward a couple of years, and we actually saw them do a massive 1200 by 800 AV, AV over IP matrix deployment. Again, this was pioneering AV over IP for future generations, right? This was a massive deployment, and only SVSI had the technology and the expertise to pull off something like this. Fast forward to 2015, 2016, very, very uh, big news that actually happened in 2015. Harman acquired SVSI and had them placed under the AMX lineup. Harman obviously recognized the massive value that SVSI and the huge inroads they were making in the AV over IP space and decided to acquire them and put them under the AMX brand, which they still remain at today. Then jump ahead a year, we actually see the very first 4K AV over IP solution over a 1 gig network. Utilizing the N2000 series, JPEG 2000, they actually debuted the 4K version of that at ISE 2016. You're seeing a trend here. SVSI has been first to market with all these solutions. We're in 2016 now. SVSI has been around for about 13 years at this point, and we don't have any competitors in the AV over IP space yet. And then actually in late 2016, October 2016, the budget conscious N2300 series of a 4K30 AV over IP solution is debuted. So we're into 2016, we are actually moving into the fourth or fifth generation as that SVSI before we see anybody who is actually a major competitor in this space. Fast forward to 2017, and now SVSI released their full 4K60, 444, over one gig network AV over IP solution with the N2400 series. This was released at ISE 2017, this was unprecedented. So we are doing no chroma subsampling like a lot of the competitors out there over a one gig link. And you know what? We are just noticing now competitors are coming into the space over 10 years later. So SVSI, as I mentioned, is within its fifth generation and only now are major competitors starting to release their first 
series of AV over IP solutions. And these solutions that competitors are releasing are piggybacking off all the uh, security standards that were developed by SVSI for video over IP. SVSI paved the way and only now are competitors actually starting to come into this space. 2017 also saw a major milestone. Over 100,000 AV over IP endpoints were deployed in this year. And not to mention, didn't stop there. In 2018, Vodafone New Zealand, a very large telecommunications giant, standardized on the N1000 series for a massive 500 by 2000 networked AV over IP matrix. So the N1000 series, which has been around for four or five years, was the choice going forward for Vodafone. And it didn't even stop there either. Actually, as recently as 2020, MediaVision put forth a Class A proposal for the 800-seat Hall of Qatar room at the United Nations uh, in Geneva. And they selected the SVSI 1000 series of encoders and decoders for the 28 by 480 virtual matrix to broadcast HD video to those Taden customized units at the seat. So as recently as just last year, we are still seeing SVSI as being the de facto AV over IP solution in high, uh, high security and very high requirement scenarios. Now, moving on to late 2018, SVSI releases the only AV over IP 4K60 windowing processor on the market and still on the market today. The windowing processor takes in AV over IP streams, builds the video wall, and transmits it over the AV over IP network to any receiving decoder on the network. And here, 2018, this is where we see the SDVOE Alliance is now formed to discuss, uh, to start building those standards over 10 gig links for AV over IP standards. So as you can see, we have a whole bunch of milestones here. We've got over 13 years of AV over IP experience, but where is SVSI going in 2021? So, where do we see SVSI going in 2021? Well, let's just review. A lot of AV over IP competitors in this space nowadays. We've got lots that didn't show up until 2017. We are now four, coming on five years since these competitors uh, came into the market. And a lot of them don't even have the same solution set as SVSI has had for years. No, no encoder wall plates in some of the major competitors. A lot of the major competitors still use more bandwidth than SVSI, some as high as 950 megabits per second. So they are just getting under that one gig link that they claim for the 4K solutions to achieve the same latency as a typical SVSI solution. In addition to the high bandwidth, a lot of competitors require more power for their encoder and decoder devices. PoE Plus or even PoE++ power requirements, which makes them a not ideal solution for legacy network deployments. But going forward in 2021, SVSI plans to release a major update this year. I don't use this word very often. We are going to be looking at some groundbreaking solutions from SVSI. They've been very quiet as of the last few years, but I expect that you will be very surprised to see what SVSI has to offer this year going forward. Stay tuned. We expect to see some teasers in April of 2021 going forward. Thanks again for joining me today. I hope you found this video useful and a little bit enlightening to the history of AV over IP. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to your AMX Canada rep and have a great one, everybody.